Hi guys, uh, Glorious Egg Roll here, and I just did something very, uh, very cool for this new version of Proton that I made, and it's surrounding Final Fantasy XIV. So I know a lot of you have Final Fantasy XIV on Steam, and I usually use the Final Fantasy XIV standalone version through Lutris. Now. Wouldn't it be convenient if you could use those versions on either one? Well, you can. Obviously, with Lutris, you would just run Steam through one, which is not very convenient. So, the focus here is going to be running either a Steam version or non-Steam version of Final Fantasy XIV through my Proton version on Steam. So, to do this, I've implemented a little tiny... Uh, environment variable called no steam one which lets you run the non steam version and I'm going to show you how it works so, so let's say you have the non steam version and you want to play on steam and you want to use proton and you don't want to go through Lutris uh, in that case the easiest way to do it with my 6.13 version older versions won't have this because I just implemented it uh, you can install the trial from the store right so when you install the trial uh, it's going to install the launcher it'll make a prefix for you and if you go here properties local files browse and you go well this opened the wrong folder I, it, it's still opening the sim link that it sees but we don't have this I, I removed the sim link so that I could show you so when you normally install the game it creates this folder in your Steam Apps Common Final Fantasy Online 14. You're going to go up one directory and now if you installed the game through Steam that's perfectly fine. You don't have to do this sim link. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you can skip on to the next step. If you already have the game installed as say like a standalone version like I do here's what you do. We're going to rename this folder to you know, the Steam folder, or you can just remove it, whatever you want to do, right? And then we're going to go here. This is our, this is my full actual installation folder for the one that's working, the standalone one. We're going to copy this path, go back over here, and we're going to create a sim link. LNS, we need to put this in single quotes so that it uses the exact uh, path with the spaces. And then we need to do another single quote and get the name of this minus the steam. I added steam on, just remember, I added steam on there so that we can differentiate between the two if we need to. And we're going to do that. And just so you can see, this is the command that we're running here. All right. So hit that, refresh the folder, bam. Here's our sim link. Now we have a sim link to our Final Fantasy standalone installation in our Steam library. Right, there it is. Okay, and we did install the launcher via Steam. You have to install the launcher via Steam, otherwise Steam's not going to recognize it in your library. You can do either the normal online version if you have a license, or the free trial version if you don't have a license. Now, once that's done, if you don't have a license, you go here, you go here, and you do no Steam 1. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to log into your standalone version. Because when what my Proton Tricks workaround does is it removes the is Steam option so that it thinks it's a standalone version. You'll get these pop ups, that's fine. Just click them. There's like five or six of them. All right, and now we can log in. I normally have two-factor authentication, but I just disabled it for this video because it's faster to log in. All right, hit play. All right. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Next thing is, we're going to turn this down. Jesus. So, let's say you have a non-Steam version. 
when you hit start, it should allow you to log in normally just like you usually do. It'll ask you to pick your data center. For my case, I actually have two accounts. See, I've already configured this one with the data center with my non my standalone account. Let me log in. Well, we're not we're not going to wait for the queue, but you can see the point is I just logged into my non-steam account using that environment variable. We're going to close that. Now, let's say you're crazy like me and <laughs> you also have two accounts. I have both a Steam account and a non-Steam account, both tied to the same login. So let's say I want to log in into my Steam version. Again, we could do this. Um, I'm going to launch the normal version here. Well, never mind. I haven't configured that one yet. But yeah, so let's do this. Change the properties, go back here, remove this. And now we're going to hit play again. I remember I said I have both accounts under the same login. So well, I'll show you what that means once this comes up. Let's log in again. Login. Oh, <laughs> there's a bug with the login button where it just crashes. That's a it's a long-standing bug. I've let people know about it. It's not. It's just not fixed yet. So let's launch this again. The bug is you don't click the button. Just press enter after you after you type in your password. Hit yes a million times. There we go. All right, now let's press enter. And play. Right, there's a trick here coming up. So you'll if you have multiple accounts and one is a Steam, one's a non-Steam, here's the trick. You want to change your data center or rechoose it. I have both of my characters on Primal, or both of my accounts on Primal. So even though I'm already on Primal, we're going to select it again. Hit confirm. And there we go. So now you see it's asking which account I want to use. One is my, not my standalone account, and two is my Steam account. So let's go ahead and choose my Steam account. And there you can see I've gotten into a completely different uh, account with a different character, and the queue is full again, so we're not going to get in the game anytime soon. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's how you can log into either your Steam or your non-Steam version using my Proton GE 6.13 version. Now, there's one other thing I need to show you. Let's say... You just bought the game, right? You bought it through, let's say you bought it through Steam. When you go to play here, let, even if, if we launch the normal one, it'll give you the same launcher. But when you go to log in, it's going to tell you that you don't have any active service accounts. And the reason is you need to, hold on, wait for this. Reason is you need to get the uh, the serial numbers from Steam and you need to register them on your account. And I'll show you how to do that as well. And I hit the button again. This button is a curse. Come on. There it goes. Hit this a million times. This used to not do this. I don't know why it's asking that now. Uh, enter to log in. Hit 
play. All right, so the game's launching, and this part I'm gonna have to blur out, but you'll get the point once I do it. So we're gonna hit Shift Tab to bring up our Steam overlay, and from here, close this. Uh, well, there used to be a. Uh, maybe it's because the window's too small. It's probably because the window is too small. Hold on a second. Let me change this. There's a section in the overlay that allows you to uh, uh, can we do That's huge. Oh well, that's fine. Good enough. So sometimes there's an option up here for your CD keys. It's not showing up here for me, but in this case, since it's not there, we're going to go over here. Exit the game, stop. Right here, properties. Oh, you know what? It's not showing up because this is a free trial. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> anyway, let's try using the actual one here. Uh, it will show up if you're running the paid version and not the trial. If we go to the properties here, uh, I don't own this on this account, so this is not going to show up. So let me log off to the actual account that owns that game. Go to our library, Final Fantasy XIV. Now, here we go, manage. Right click, manage, CD keys. All right, and obviously I'm gonna blur this out when I make the video, but you're gonna right click, well, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna copy each one to the clipboard. I would do something like open a notepad or a, a K-Write, whatever you use. Uh, copy it to there so you have all your codes, and then, you're going to go to your bog station. And let me remove the code that's already here so you guys can't try to use these codes again. Okay, so we're in mog station, right? I've logged in. And as you can see here in my tabs, go to your account. It's going to make me log in again. I've got tabs one and tabs two, and these are for multiple accounts. Now, if you don't have a Steam account, you would click this button that says add new service account. And when you do that, it's gonna ask you for your serial numbers. This is where you plug in all of the Steam serial numbers one by one. Once you do that, you'll be able to log into your, Steam, your paid Steam version. And as you can see, I have full access on my Steam version. I actually haven't paid for Ed Walker on my normal version. But that is how you get the game activated on Steam. Uh, I would also recommend, uh, if you're going to create a new account and start playing, to also create the account on the website, not through Steam. You can buy the game through Steam. Just don't create your account through the launcher because it's, it's a bit buggy. So... Uh, sorry, I know this this video was kind of all over the place. I actually tried to do it at 3 o'clock in the morning last night, and I was just too tired and kept messing up a bunch. Um, but there's a lot of information here. Uh, I just woke up and decided to hammer this out this time. Hopefully it helps you guys getting Final Fantasy XIV running. Uh, should be a, a bit easier than it was in the past. In the past, there was always problems with the launcher not working at all or... Uh, I mean, you still need you still need some overrides and stuff done, but all of that's done in my Proton version. This won't work in normal Proton. 
Uh, you still have to manu if you use normal Proton, you still have to manually do all the changes, uh, which I'm not going to dig into because, like I said, I've already done it in my Proton version. It, it scripts, it does everything for you. You literally just have to choose whether or not you want to run Steam and do the sim link if you have an install already. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully it helps you guys out. See ya.